Hello, hello. Guess who it is? Me, Beanie. Well, guys, Labor Day has come and gone. <laughs> it was all but a whisper. Um, I'm on a sort of lunch break. Um, so you're going to probably see my eyes veering off. Like you can see all the monitors in my reflection. I just have some things I have to keep an eye on even while I'm like, you know, having a little breaky breaky. And my hair is wet. I had just washed it a little while ago and I haven't done anything. So at least it doesn't look like a poof ball. Let's get these off. How are you? I'm um, doing fantastic. I had a pretty typical weekend. It was nothing, you know, nothing to write home about, but I had my little granddaughter and she kept me busy and exhausted. So that's good. I probably, I don't know. Maybe I'll do two videos. All right. So today's video is going to be a quick, um, recap on my one month on the, uh, Weight Watchers or WW for you fancy people, and a little bit of Weight Watchers talk, and a little bit of teeth talk, and a little bit of what I've been able to eat with my dentures. And yes, friends, we have the old Chop Chops in. I haven't even called Aspen about going back and having them shape. I did try wearing them again um, over the weekend, and I can't, you guys. Even the upper palette compared to this one like I almost choked I tried to eat again I said listen you know what Beanie you were being critical you know maybe because you already have this bad taste in your mouth about Bob you're being critical on those chop chops put them back in again see what happens no nothing changed it's they're too low into the gum here they're too high into the gum up here or you know where the gum stops whatever that you know where your skin meets your gum you, you guys know what I'm talking about you have a mouth um, and the palette on that, um, newer set is very, very thick. And I almost choked trying to like chew something. It kind of got hung up back there. Anyways, um, I have to call them. I'll probably go next week. It's just that, you know, since I have these teeth, I just, I need a break from going there and being disappointed you know, you guys know what that's like, you know, like when you've just kind of like had a letdown after a letdown after a letdown and you're just like, yeah, I need a fucking break. So that's how I'm feeling. I just feel like I need a break. Um, so as far as um, being able to try new foods, um, I haven't really tried. Oh, I did do a sauerkraut. I love sauerkraut. I gave sauerkraut a shot. I was so thrilled. I was able to chew it with my old teeth. Um and uh, so that's cool. So I'm reincorporating sauerkraut into my daily um, routine, uh, a fourth to a half a cup a day, um, because it's good probiotics, it's natural probiotics, and uh, I love it. I don't really care for kimchi. I don't know if any of you guys have tried kimchi. Um, I tried to like it, I just, I don't know. Maybe because I haven't had fresh kimchi where I live, you know, like homemade, I've only had jarred, and it's nasty. Um, okay, so Weight Watchers check-in. Oh, shit, my phone is on underneath my camera, so I can't show you. I mean, I could, but then I gotta readjust the camera. I'll just tell you, and you'll have to believe me, and then in the next video, I'll show you. I mean, I have no reason to lie to you guys, so, I mean, you know, take it for what you want. Um, so I had, I completed my one month. Um, Sunday was my one month anniversary for Weight Watchers and uh, total weight loss for the month was 17.8 pounds. I now can't even sell, you can't even tell <laughs> where did it come off of? I don't know. Maybe my feet because my feet are always swollen. Um, that's about it. <laughs> You know, uh, you know, when I showed my daughter, my daughter's like, oh, that's good. But, you know, it was kind of like she wasn't thrilled. Like She wasn't like, yeah, mom. I was like, girl, if I was your size, because she's not a big girl. I said, if I was your size and I lost 18 pounds, it would be noticeable. You ain't going to notice shit until I'm like down 80 pounds. Um, and she said, yeah, that's true. <laughs> But you know what, guys? I'm not being mean about it. I'm not being hurtful to myself about it. I'm being realistic. And I'm being realistic for anybody who may watch these videos, you know, coming in just as a Weight Watchers viewer. And, you know, you say, you see this big girl like me and you can identify with me. And you say, dang, if Beanie can lose 18 pounds in a month, 
there's hope for me. Pump your brakes. No. First of all, it's not healthy to lose 18 pounds in a month if you're a healthy person. Okay. Um, they typically recommend anywhere between one to two pounds per week. And that when they, I'm talking about the medical community, okay? So one to two pounds per week, which would put you at anywhere between four to eight pounds per month is considered healthy weight loss where you're not really doing a lot of damage to your body and um, are instituting habits that will be long-term habits. Um, so with that being said, when I'm not knocking the 18 pounds, listen, that's 18 pounds that was putting additional pressure on my circulatory system, on my cardiovascular system. So however the poundage left, I'm grateful. D don't get me wrong, but I'm just being realistic. My mindset is very, very different this time around um, as far as, you know, where I want to be for myself in the next one year, the next five years, you know, you get to that last, I hate saying the last leg of your life, but when you're middle age and you're heading into the home stretch and you're saying, okay, I put up with all the bullshit that life throws at you growing up and going through your 20s and going through your 30s and what am I willing to accept and what am I not willing to accept and setting goals based on that. I just know that I'm, I just have a very different mindset. You know, I don't, there's things about my autoimmune disease that I can't control, but I want to be able to control the things that I can. Um, same thing with health and wellness. So, so that's where we are. And, you know, remember all of this started, I avoided everything. I avoided going to my doctors like I should have been going. I avoided taking my medicines that I didn't feel were as, as much helping me um, as they were hurting me. I avoided confronting the issue with my teeth and not only cosmetically were my teeth a, a detriment to me, but physically. Oh, let's talk about that real quick. So I've always talked to you guys about um, the amount of infection that I had raging through my mouth. And I always used to have this lump here and you, I could just press on it and you would just feel it moving around. It never felt like it was down in my jaw. It felt like it was in the cheek. It's gone. So it was infection. It was infection that was no longer contained in my jaw, but was in my cheek. And it had been there, you guys, no shit, for three years. I had noticed it when I was at my old job. Um, so it was at least three, three and a half years ago that I had noticed this lump. Well, since having all of these bad teeth removed, that lump, I was, when I was messing because of the new teeth, um, it was, I said, where's the lump? And I'm feeling and I'm feeling, I said, well, maybe the sucker shifted, you know, maybe she moved down there or moved up here. No, the lump's gone. So what it was is it was infection that was being fed by the broken teeth that's now gone. So that's, that's good news. And, you know, that's something that for anybody that is watching that has not started the extraction process and you're on the fence about being able to afford dentures or what you're going to do, please, 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 I'm going to just reiterate it again, move forward with starting your extractions, even if it's just one tooth at a time. Okay. Just, just do it. I, I promise you, even if you don't feel the benefits of it immediately, they will come. Okay. I assure you. Um, so back to the Weight Watchers. Um, what's my plan of attack for this month? Um, I'm not stressing myself out with anything to do with this, this eating plan. Meaning you remember, and I, I made fun about, you know, we all have that friend who once they get on a diet, then they're like, everything has to do with this diet and they overhaul their, their kids. I am really catering my acclimation to using the Weight Watchers program to my lifestyle. Okay. I'm not switching my lifestyle to suit this program. And the reason that I'm doing it this way is I'm old enough now to really know me. You know, I focus on me a lot. You know, I, I stay in my head a lot. I think a lot. I do think, I think a lot. Sometimes I think, I think too much. Um, 
but I just, I'm very realistic as far as I know what will work with me and I know what will not work with me. And I, my intentions are working with how my lifestyle is, how my brain is, and, but ultimately what my goal is. So I'm really, I'm real chill about this. You know, I'm really chilled. I'm real, I'm really laid back. I'm not upsetting myself that if I don't meet goals, every quarter of a pound lost is a win to me. It is. It's a win. It's another quarter of a pound that my poor little five foot three frame doesn't have to carry. It's another quarter of a pound that my circulatory and my cardiovascular system does not have to push oxygen and blood through. So it's a win, baby. It's a win. Um, what, what are my plans? So I'm, uh, hoping to go back to physical activity. Now I do have two hernias that I know of. I think it's three. Um, and I have to be careful of that. I am not getting a hernia surgery until I've lost more, more weight. Um, because of my my lung issue it doesn't matter why i i can't go for the hernia surgery yet until i lose more, more weight if i want to help my metabolism um push through the hindrances that i have by having autoimmune disease i have to introduce more and more physical activity the good news is, is i used to body build i used to be i used to work out twice a, twice a, a day i used to do weightlifting and cardio um, so muscle does have memory. It's very deep. It's very deep in here, but it's there. Um, so I will be starting back with a yoga, uh, a yoga that I did in the past that works. Um, I just had to order a new yoga mat that's thicker because <laughs> the other one was not, I couldn't get up off the floor. My, my knees were killing me. It was awful. Um, I do have a total gym, like a Chuck Norris total gym. I have one of those. Um, I don't feel motivated to pull it out yet, but I might, um, given the right circumstances. I did break my pinky toe um, over the weekend, so I have to be careful with that. And as you guys know, when you break a toe, there's nothing they can do for you. You can just buddy tape it and, you know, go easy on it. I'm not using that as an excuse not to have physical activity. So I'll just be careful. That's all I can do. Um, but yeah, so this, uh, this upcoming week is introduction of more physical therapy, you know, like scheduled, uh, physical activity, not physical therapy, physical activity, um, to keep myself moving. Hold on a second, guys. All right. I'm back guys. Crisis was somewhat averted. Uh, I got a conference call though in about 35 minutes. So Thrillsville. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's pretty much where I'm at. Uh, you know, shrinkage in the mouth. I feel, I don't know. I feel like there's been some more shrinkage in the mouth. Uh, but you know, we're several months in now uh, with the dentures. Um, so I think it's slowing down. It's not as rapid. And it, it's still probably further behind than some of our other viewer friends who don't have compromised you know, bodies that work a little bit better. So that's that. I do have um, another video that maybe I can swing it and get it out. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I hope everybody's doing great. Um, I hope, you know, you had a good Labor Day weekend. You know, I hope you're treating yourself good. You know, set some goals. Um, you know, I like to do that for myself as I always uh, set. Like right now, I'm back in my sewing phase. Remember I told you, you know, I felt it like in my heart, like I needed to be of service and, and do, you know, I do community service around this time of year. I mean, it could be a year round thing. It's just that traditionally that's just, this is my time of the year to do it. Um, so I'm making lady products, uh, to donate to, you know, the homeless and it doesn't have to be in the homeless in my area. You know, um, I'm going to call around to some more metropolitan areas and you know see if they you know they'd be interested um but it's still in my heart to continue to to give i feel like when you give you receive and you know there's always people out there that need help elderly our elderly 
need help. They need people. You know, they either don't have families that are supportive. They definitely don't have help from our government, enough help from our government. Um, so there's always places to help. And um, especially when you're not feeling good about yourself or you're feeling down or you're feeling low. Um, helping other people really helps you. It really, truly does. Um, but yeah, so um, please, you know, if there's anything that you have, like a skill or um, a talent, and it could help somebody in your community, just try to help, try to help, um, you know, and don't think of it in a way of like, well, what am I going to get out of it? Or I'm not going to help this person. They're a junkie. They're just going to go back to using drugs. You can't have that mind frame when you're helping somebody. You help somebody to to just help them. And um, where it goes, where that help goes, or how far it goes, that's up to the universe to decide. That's not up for us to decide. And who's worthy of our help? Um, you know, yes, you can be discerning if you feel somebody's like a slut, you know, a criminal and you don't want to help them or they they've done bad things to children or, or whatever and that's of course normal but you know sometimes people are a product of their circumstances and those circumstances were outside of their control or they were not raised to know um, a different skill set on how to handle crisis so that's all I'm gonna say about that all right friends I got to go back to work um, I'm gonna talk to you soon be good to yourself. I hope you have a wonderful afternoon and um, come and join me on the next video. Maybe give me a little thumbsy up. See if you watch the video this long, give your girl a thumbs up. God, I feel like I'm begging for that shit. I don't even really want, I don't care. You know, like I don't care if you thumbs me up or if you don't thumbs me up, but YouTube cares about that stuff. So it would help me reach more people if you thumbs me up. That's all I'm going to say about that. All right, guys. Let me go back to work. Talk to you soon.